Hey everyone, my name is Leila and today I want to show you my winter floral fragrances. These are quite heavy florals that I enjoy to wear when the weather gets colder. So I want to start with the heaviest flower in my perception and this is tuberose. I will be showing the niche and a designer version um, for tuberose and for other flowers as well. These fragrances are not the same, they are not clones. They just belong to the same family and they have the same message. So I want to start with the niche one and this is from Italian brand. It's called Arte Olfatto. It's called Tuberose Vanilla. Uh, this is a very nice and beautiful tuberose fragrance where tuberose is very floral, it's not fruity. It's mixed with a lot of, uh, lots of vanilla and uh, you can also smell some Gardenia here because gardenia tends to give this fragrance some greenness and a bit of freshness I would say, but all together. This is a really heavy uh, sweet vanillic feminine type of tuberose that I believe is a perfect um, option for a winter cold day and if you don't want to spend money and you want something uh, also sweet and tuberosey um, from the designer's brand but again they are not similar um, I can suggest you to try Givenchy L'Interdit this is Eau de Parfum and uh, this tuberose is different it's a bit uh, younger I would say than and less sophisticated le less serious than the tuberose vanilla from uh, Arte Olfatto because this one is fruity uh, it's more playful, I believe, and um, it is bubble gummy type of tuberose. Um, it is very enjoyable, and I enjoy it more when I smell it from other people, um, or when I smell my um, sillage uh, or the trail, than when I smell it directly from, let's say, the place where I apply it. Because when I smell it in the sillage, it's a bit different. My daughter also liked uh, likes this fragrance a lot because again it's uh, bubble gummy. It smells like grape bubble gum to me. Um, again, very um, juicy, very um, playful, uh, uplifting, positive type of tuberose. Less sophisticated, less um, expensive uh, than the previous one, but also worth all the money. The next fragrance is about lavender if you love lavender the niche um, option would be uh, lavande from molinard and um, this is a very uh, natural like smelling lemon lavender like if you take a big bouquet of lavender flowers which is a bit dry and you smell it this is what you you will what you will feel it smells like a lavender shop in a Provence in France. So uh, it also has some clary sage and a very prominent uh, herbal aspect as well. And when you spray it just uh, freshly, you will feel that it's very herbaceous. Some may, may say a bit medicinal type of a mixture of lavender and uh, um, clary sage. And it has a lot of tonka beans and coumarin which is, I believe, is the same thing. Um, and it is, um, it starts to shine more closer to the, to the middle notes and bass. Like in the very beginning, you will feel like you are in the herbal shop because it is so um, natural smelling type of lavender and clary sage. But closer to the bass, uh, you will feel lots and lots of creamy, creamy tonka, very pleasant, very, calming down at the same time um, very warming up type of tonka um, people say this is a clone of Tom Ford's lavender extreme the, this fragrance was released before Tom Ford's lavender extreme I would say lavender extreme is a clone of this fragrance um, but this one is a very very good quality when I say quality I mean uh, I don't feel anything synthetic when I smell this fragrance it smells very natural to me it smell, it smells very smooth and round so this is a very beautiful lavender if you like um, lavender how it smells in nature and if you want to spend a bit more 
Uh, however, again, Molinar is not a, a pricey type of niche. Something from the same family, also um, with a prominent lavender note. However, a bit different, I would say. Not a bit, really different. Uh, but anyway, if you want something with a prominent lavender for your winter collection, I would suggest um, Guerlain's Montguerlain Intense, the intense version. And uh, this is the lavender which is mixed with lots of uh, iris and vanilla and tonka beans. So I would say in the Molinard, the lavender is very natural smelling. This one is the perfumer's imagination of um, lavender. This is how he imagines lavender in the perfumery, mixed with iris and straight away to vanilla and tonka beans. Like you don't need to wait. When you apply this, you straight away feel the sweetness and the warmth and it's really, really pleasant, really, really beautiful fragrance. I enjoy it a lot. As you may see, I wear it a lot. And my next fragrance is my new purchase that I loved, just loved. I purchased, I purchased it blindly and it is... I don't know. I, it is so enjoyable. I love it. I just love it. This is a Capriccio from Suspiro. Um, I think this is something old. Like this is uh, an old fragrance. Yes, and this is a very beautiful... I can't smell it from the uh, bottle because I can only smell the this velvet fabric here. It smells like something not pleasant. I would spray it. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. So, you know, sophisticated, feminine, also very dense and intense, um, but at the same time, tasteful type of fragrance. You can have in your collection only one fragrance like this, and you don't need anything else. Like, it is so versatile. Because this is like a mixture of Angel by Terry Mugler with Narcissa Rodriguez um, and I can definitely smell the DNA of both of the, this masterpieces and this fragrance all together. But uh, if we compare it to Narcissa Rodriguez for her, the um, EDT in a black um, rectangular bottle, um, this has more patchouli, more woody notes, more uh, vanilla tonka beans, some berry notes. Uh, it is not that white floral like uh, Natsis Rodriguez. If you cannot find Capriccio, because I believe it's discontinued already, you can um, buy a substitute, which is from the same family. I wouldn't say they are clones. They're quite close to each other. Um, but still, this one is more complicated, more sophisticated and deeper type of fragrance with a musk that smells pretty much like the musk in uh, Narcissa Rodriguez. You can try for her. And uh, the difference again uh, is that this one is more musky, more um, powdery, less patchouli and more white florals. This is a mixture of um, white flowers like orange blossom, I believe, or uh, some other white florals like Osmanthus. Um, it has uh, lots of musk, prominent. It's very prominent, has some vetiver. So beautiful, beautiful fragrance, also very feminine. One of the best sellers, I would say, from the brand. Um, and the musk here is a bit animalic. So uh, it was, it used to be, by the way, nowadays it's less animal, it's more clean because I have a new release. I used to have the older one and I gifted it to my sister because I couldn't wear it. It was too animalic for me. But this one is really, really safe in terms of you don't like animalic aspect. This one is really safe. The next fragrance is um, with, to my taste, with a prominent jasmine accord. Though it doesn't have uh, that accord in the list of notes in Fragrantica, but I always believed that it had jasmine because I can feel it, I can smell it. I'm talking about Costume National J. And no one is talking about this fragrance, but it is so pleasant. It's soapy, it's clean, 
it's very sophisticated type of fragrance as well. I want to spray it. It's very clean, crispy, warm at the same time, a bit citrusy type of jasmine. The, the notes say it has uh, some orange blossom, cherry blossom, some white flowers, but I can definitely smell some very light jasmine, I would say. It is not that heavy. You can wear it during the colder weather and the hot weather, it doesn't matter, but this is a beautiful, beautiful, long-lasting type of fragrance. And if you want something similar, something with a jasmine, um, also a bit airy, uh, but also very, very nice and beautiful, uh, go with Jar with <laughs> Jar Zara, um, elegantly Tokyo. This is the, the the one I wanted to buy initially when I <clears throat> purchased my uh, previous three fragrances from Zara, uh, <clears throat> but I didn't. Um, I liked it but I didn't buy it and after a couple of days I went back and I got a 75 ml bottle which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, jasmine, lily, akigala wood but altogether this is a bit woody, white florals which is not heavy. Jasmine uh, sometimes can be annoying like tuberose, can be very heavy but both of these fragrances though they are with a prominent accord of jasmine it is not heavy, it's not that heavy, like it's not annoying type of jasmine. A very nice, high quality again, because I don't feel any synthetic. Maybe the base is a bit more synthetic in this fragrance. Uh, but anyway, for the price, I think this is a perfect fragrance. I highly suggest you to try. This is a new um, collection of Zara. It's devoted to the, to the cities, uh, vibrant cities. I think this is how it's called. And the Tokyo is also very elegant, uh, and really it's elegantly Tokyo. It's uh, uh, also, you know, it smells like a class to me, like uh, Jo Malone fragrances smell like, because this is a collaboration with Jo Malone. So very, very nice. It lasts long, by the way. It lasts for at least four to five hours. Even on my skin, I can smell it. So I think this is a, a very good uh, longevity and performance for this, this type of fragrance. The next fragrance is um, Dupe for Fleur Narcotique. If you're a fan of that fragrance and you don't want to spend that much, you can try Ritzina. I believe it's how it's pronounced. This is Quento Canto, the brand of um, Paolo Terenzi. Uh, and this is Ritzina or Ritzina. Anyway, uh, this is really a dupe for mentioned before. Uh, Flora Narcotique, however, uh, it is less musky, I would say. The musk in this fragrance is not that annoying that the musk in Flora Narcotique. For some reason, when I received the uh, Flora Narcotique in um, um, deckhand, um, when I applied it, um, I was shocked because the musk there was to me so synthetic, so prominent, and it, it was so obvious that the longevity and uh, performance of this fragrance is um, provided by musk, like this very, very intensive, like an overdose of musk. And I, I don't like that type of musk. Um, for me, it's very heavy, very annoying. Um, but this one is much better. It is less musky, but at the same time, the main accord of um, floral mixed with fruity is definitely there. It is deep, it is quite, um, I would say, changes, like it has facets. Now, it is a beautiful fragrance. It's not that cheap. Um, and if you want something even cheaper than this, but that smells pretty much similar, with the only difference that um, this one is more uh, floral and uh, this one is a little bit more milky. It has, both of them have some lactonic aspect, but this one is a bit more lactonic because it smells to me like uh, tropical flowers mixed with a, um, peach yogurt. Um, this is Azora from Dark Collection. And Azora is much, much cheaper. I would say even Azora performs better than Ricina. For me, Especially when I just received Ricina, I was shocked because I didn't smell anything. Like, it was very diluted for me because I expected some 
power, you know, <laughs> from the, 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 the Paolo Terence's fragrance, um, as always, as all other fragrances do. However, I believe this is a new formula because all people say it is so intensive, it is so powerful, it's a powerhouse. Mine is not. And in this case, Azora uh, is even longer lasting and more prominent than Aritzina. So if you want a clone of uh, Fleur Narcotique, uh, try whether the Aritzina or Azora from Atar Collection. And the last pair for today is the yellow flowers, like lots of, and lots of yellow flowers, like Mimosa, like Ilang, like Narcissus. This is a Velvet Love by Dolce & Gabbana from the Velvet line, from the boutique line. Um, a very heavy and a bit old school type of fragrance, but a very beautiful one. It has lots of uh, carnation mixed with cloves, so it also has lots and lots of Ilang. So this is a very very yellow type of heavy heavy dose of um, overdose I would say of yellow flowers um, also very long lasting and quite a prominent type of fragrance so um, be careful with this one don't over spray definitely but be prepared this is again um, a bit old school type of fragrance some may say it's quite mature uh, and something very similar to this fragrance but from the designer brand is Poem by Bancom. And this is also a huge bouquet of yellow flowers like Mimosa, Narcissus and um, Ilang. Um, it also has some fruits and also some vanilla and tonka beans and patchouli I believe. With time by the way this smells much better. This is a new formula. I used to have um, I used to wear this fragrance when I was 20, 21 years old. At that time, it seemed to me really, really mature. Um, and I believe it was. I was just too young for this fragrance. Nowadays, I'm 41, so I'm already grown up enough for this fragrance and I enjoy it a lot. And this fragrance, with time, as I said, it smells even better. It's, it's like a, you know, a good wine. With time, it's, it's getting better and better. So if you want something similar to Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Love, um, it has the same uh, mood, I would say, the same message. It's also yellow flowers. It's also quite dense, intensive, and very, you know, um, complex type of fragrance. So try Poem by Lancome. And I guess that's it. Those were all my um, heavy florals for today. If you do wear some of these fragrances during the winter time please let me know if you wear them more during the summer time please also let me know it will be very interesting to read your comments um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to do so don't forget to press that, that notification bell um, not to miss my next video i also invite you to visit my instagram page if you enjoy it if you like it if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye